Hey there, in this WordPress tutorial, I'm going to go over how to add content to your blog, your WordPress blog website. And there's two main ways of doing that. The two ways are through things called posts and through pages. And there's two differences, a couple major differences between the two. And posts, I'll show you on my Grade 11 Media Arts website. So posts typically on your WordPress blog will appear on your home page. So posts are where you add the most recent things on your website. So for instance, October 31st, I'm having my students evaluate through a survey here. And the next last, last time I added something was October 25th. So it's in reverse chronological order. This is typical of a blog. Okay, or this, this is what you could have your current news on your course website. Now pages are static pages. So these are things that aren't going to change often. So this is where you want to have maybe a uh, reading or course outlines or assignments. So I have my course outline here and these other things are different assignments I have. Now these don't have dates on them, but these are just your pages and they're more static. So this isn't going to change too often. Uh, maybe every uh, semester or every year I'll change that. And again, the posts are a little bit different. Now, sometimes you don't really want your post on the home page. And you can do that in WordPress. So let's say you wanted a button for latest news or something. Well, you can do that, and I'll show you an example on the art site. So if you go to the home page of the art site, you don't see any posts. Okay, you just see a little bit of information about the site, but there's no posts. I've put all the posts somewhere else under latest work added. So this is easy to do in WordPress, and I'll show you how to do that later, but hopefully you have a general idea that uh, there is a difference between posts and pages.